everybody, Zach Wolf here. If last week was your spring break, I hope you had a great spring break. The week before that, I was part of a presentation at the Essentials of Business Law course put on by Texas Bar CLE. And I was on a panel called Departing Employee Issues for Business Lawyers. So for this week's Top 5 Tuesday, I thought I would do the top five lessons from the Departing Employees panel at the Essentials of Business Law course. So here are the top five takeaways from that panel discussion that I think would be helpful if you're a business owner or if you're a lawyer who represents business owners or businesses. Number five, we talked about whether you can get a non-compete as part of a severance agreement with an employee. And the general answer is no. I'm not going to say that it's impossible to get a non-compete at the point when the employee leaves the company, but it's very difficult to get a non-compete in that situation and have it be enforceable. Number four, we talked about how it's a good idea to do an exit interview with an employee who's leaving. You can remind the employee of his or her confidentiality obligations. You can collect uh, documents or devices from the employee. You can remind the employee if, it, if there's a non-compete. So an exit interview is generally a good idea. Number three, keep in mind that many key employees own equity in the company. And so if you're a lawyer dealing with a departing employee situation, you need to ask if the employee owns equity in the company. And if so, you need to review the relevant documents to see what issues that creates. So don't forget about equity ownership. Number two, it's a good idea generally for businesses to have a confidentiality policy. That's one thing that will help if the company has to make a claim for trade secrets misappropriation. And I talked about an example from the recent Dannon versus Chobani lawsuit where I went into some of the things that Dannon had in its confidentiality policy. Number one, probably this really would be the overall theme. Number one is you need to tailor your employment agreements, including non-competes and confidentiality agreements, to fit the needs of the particular business. It's not one size fits all. So if you're a lawyer representing a business and they want an employment agreement, don't just slap together whatever boilerplate you've collected. Take the time to understand the business and what they need and what should be in their non-compete or confidentiality agreement. All right, those are my top five takeaways from our panel discussion. Thanks for watching.